hi, I'm Siobhan Muir. And um, as you know, I'm putting together my own little miniature room because I wanted a book nook, which it turns out I was looking online recently and the book nooks have now come down in price. You only have to spend $70, I think now instead of, yeah, it was 245 and it's now, yeah, it's now down to 70. So what? You yes, paid 200 for this? No. Oh. No. <laughs> no. This little thing was $29, but the ones that I saw online to make a book nook that it, it's like a little it's like a little alleyway on your bookshelf and you, it, like you can look through around the corner. They were $245. And as much as I would love to spend $245 on a really nifty cool little itty bitty thing, I could use that $245 for something else like groceries. So um, I thought maybe it might be wiser to build it myself. So I, I decided that I was gonna make a um, American retro style forest times little room. And you see how cute this room is? It's cute. So I thought, okay, rather than, rather than spend the money, I'm going to put the effort in because it also would keep me occupied. <laughs> and it would give me a sense that I've accomplished something when novels take months. So. Although this is taking months too, but at least I see something immediately finished. <laughs> okay, so um, today we have the floor of our little forest home thing going on. Um, we have the one of the outer walls. Now, the way they set up is that the the deck is to, if you're looking at it, is to your right. This particular piece goes on the outer wall out here. And this piece, which now has the curtain rod on one side and um, a little outer detail, this piece will go right like this and you'll glue it down like that. And then you have the inner wall or the back wall of the room, which will fit right here. So this is what it's going to end up looking like once we glue it down. That's the way it works. And and this thing has a little bit, I love it how it says sticky bit. This is how the little bit where you put the the glue to glue down these walls. So eventually it will look like that. So, okay. But so that's what we're gonna do today. We're gonna glue that. And then we're also at the, on the back end of this thing because it's a little deck, we're gonna make this little fence thing which sits um, on the outside behind the doors. So it's end up, these are the doors. We're not gonna make those today, but we are gonna make this little fence thing. But we're gonna start with the walls because you can't put all this stuff in there until you have the walls content and finished. So because I'm right-handed, I'm gonna put it back the way I can see it so that I know what I'm doing. Otherwise it's gonna be like, huh, that didn't work. <clears throat> Let's not do that. Okay, so as you can see, I did glue on the um, curtain and the curtain rod. I decided not to put both curtains on because um, if you stretch this thing out it actually could cover the entire window and I just thought it looked kind of cute to have just one on there so you could still see through the window. But um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to glue it. You know, you're going to see it from the back but I will turn it around when I'm done. But what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna glue this to the spaces that it says that it's supposed to go. So we're gonna just fill this space on the sticky bit. All right, so I know you're gonna see this from the back. I will turn it around when I'm ready, but we're just gonna stick this right here. Now I wanna make sure I'm gonna hold it for a while. <laughs> you know, it's really funny, that gap in the wall that's beneath the bed, so, so so the monster under the bed can get out. <laughs> That's what it is. It's a hole underneath the bed, so the monster under the bed can come and go as he pleases. <laughs> you know, if he has to go out and get groceries, or maybe, you know, take a run to the coffee shop because <laughs> he's feeling a little tired. <laughs> if you can get this thing to glue down, my suggestion is find something that it can lean against so you have a stabilizing stabilizing system so that it doesn't lean. Ta -da! Now I'm good I'm going to put up the next wall and so for right now I'm just gonna leave this thing here and then I will turn it around so you can see it but what we're gonna do is we're gonna put on the garden wall. All right now make sure when you glue this thing down you want the curtains to be on the inside of the room otherwise you're going to have curtains blowing in the wind out there on your deck and you don't want that because you're going to put the um, 
You are going to put the, oh, you know what? Now that I think about it, before I do this, um, I want to put glue on this wall as well because you're gonna glue the one to the other. You don't wanna forget that, which is another reason why I make sure your curtains are out of the way. So I'm gonna show you what it looks like just a little bit. So this is kind of what you're getting here. It's gonna be a little messy. You can always take your handy dandy, highly technical tool and clean up the excess. Now most of this you're not gonna see once you put the furniture in, but cleaning up excess is always a good thing when doing any of these projects. You know, it just kind of gives a more refined, finished look. There you go, look, we're starting to build a room. Look at that. Little curtains. Oh, they turned out good. Boy, it was a pain in the butt putting those curtains on the, on the rod, that's for sure. But yeah, look at that, look how cool it looks. We're gonna do the last wall. That is this one right here. Now this one, I'm going to uh, glue this, I'm gonna glue this outer edge here and I'm gonna glue the bottom of this thing because I don't have a line on the bottom to show me where it's going to go. So, oh, you know what? I could have made, I could have made another thing and put the other curtain on that. I could have put the curtain on this window. It didn't come that way, but I could have put the window, I could have done that. But that would mean making more of those little hooks and I, no, I was, I'm good. <laughs> I, I'm totally good. But we, we do have another curtain. It's right here. I, you know what? Just I, glue it. I could just glue it. I could, yeah, I could totally right glue it right there. I totally could. Okay. So that's what it should look like to get those walls up. wrong end. Well, whatever. Cool! Okay, we're gonna let that sit to the side. Now, originally this thing said, put these things together. Well, so I glued, I glued the roof together, as you can see the glue on it. And then I figured out that, ah, uh, yeah, the angle is too sharp. So it's better to just glue the stupid thing on one and glue it together that way. Am I a little frustrated? Maybe a little. <laughs> Maybe a little. Maybe a little frustrated. Now, I would love to just, um, this thing sits on here like this, and I would love to glue it down, but I just wanna make sure that these walls glue first before I put the roof on, because I can, but um, I really don't wanna mess up the gluing that I've already done. So we're gonna set it aside and let it, you know, dry. All right, in the meantime, this is kind of a little construction project. See all these little blue bits? Ta-da! So these will be the doors. They go on the um, outside. They'll be glued in there like this. So they'll go on the outside of this garden thing. But these are these little garden fences. and. Do you remember when I made those little metal boxes? These little metal boxes go on the inside, on the, or the outside of the, the garden, but against those little fences. They end up going up in, see this area right here where the outer edge is. So, what I'm going to do is I'm going to glue them together. And these aren't hard. Basically, you glue right there, and then you glue Right there, hard stuff, let me tell you. <laughs> but, yeah, so that's what we'll do. We will glue them together. All right, but I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to put the glue on the ends here. <coughs> and then you just pick an edge and you glue them. And you wait for those to dry. Ta -da! Of course, you can't see this at this angle, but I'm not going to move it. <laughs> or you... It's okay. Oh, oh, 
it kind of wants to stay. Look at that little ladder. <laughs> yeah, that's right. It's a little ladder. It's supposed to be a fence, but we're just going to go with ladder right now. It's the ladder back fence. Ha 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 ha. Okay. <laughs> I'm really looking forward to it, but because there, do you see this hole on the inside there? That's where this little lantern goes. Oh, it's supposed to be up? Really? Mm. Okay. It's supposed to be. It's, it's your be. fence. You do whatever you want. That's right. It's my. <laughs> it's my fence. You know what? To be on the safe side, I'm gonna put it down near the edge. I think, cause then it'll it'll glue nicer, <laughs> and I won't have to fool with it. I like it kind of flush here on the bottom because if you do it flush, that means you can glue the whole bottom side of it, and it's stabilizes it a lot better. That's why I'm doing it this way. You are more than welcome to follow exactly what the picture looks like, which is supposed to have a little a little gap between this bar and the and the bottom of the fence post. Not gonna do that. I'm trying to make my life easier. This is already difficult enough as it is. <laughs> All right, so um, I'm gonna let them dry, but there's the little fences that you put together and they need to dry. <sighs> Let's see. <laughs> so, I think that's where that goes. And then this one goes up, meets it at the front. I'm going, I haven't, I just want to make sure, I want to place them. See where they go. So I know where I want to set them. So what I'm gonna do, since this is somewhat dry, it feels pretty steady. <laughs> um, I'm going to put glue on this edge and then I'm gonna glue this thing down because I made the mistake of putting it together before and apparently just didn't get it right. So, not frustrated at all about that, by the way. I'm not sure if the glue is gonna make a difference on this outer edge because it just sits on the, the edge. So what I might take is my tool, which uh, is right here, and make sure it's just on this outer edge. Can you see? So that it, it might um, glue to the outer edge of that, but not really on the whole thing. Do not want it in this little crack. This little crack here is meant to be there for a reason, so. Okay. Ooh, and with the sun coming in from the, the window behind, it looks like, you know, the sun coming in from the, before she's moved in. <gasps> oh, it stayed, okay. So there's the roof, but I wanna make sure and fill with glue because that's where wires are gonna go and they need that hole. It's the upside down house. It's what happened when you're uh, when a tornado comes through and gets your dollhouse. <laughs> All right. That's encouraging. I'm getting a house. Now this piece is gonna go right up there like that but I'm not gonna do that right now because that one, I don't want it to disturb. No, dis do not disturb the box. <laughs> my, my kid will say, you have to disturb the dirt. It's from uh, Disney's Atlantis. And it's, it's Mole, the, the geologist, and he goes, you have to disturb the dirt. That movie is my favorite <laughs> Which Disney. is John Leguizamo, and it's really funny because he's he's um, a Latino, but he's does really good with a funky French accent. So that's what we're going to. Now, eventually, I'm not sure these are dry enough, but eventually I'm going to end up gluing them right there at the edge of that. But I'm not gonna do that today. So this is what it looks like. And tune in next week or whenever we do this again, that we will um, have this, this on like this, and we will start putting together the room. 
So see you next time. Oh, don't forget to uh, ring that little bell so that you're subscribed to my channel and um, or sign up for my Patreon. If you do it that way, um, you will get these videos for free or for your donation. So thanks for joining me. Bye.